What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is week 111 of Xur. And Xur is located at the tower. In the hangar, in this little area right here. So let's go find out what he has this week. Zer, what's up, dude? I still like these new moves, man. I still like these new moves. Oh, no. So like always, let's go ahead and start with the left-hand side first. We have the weapon of the week, which is the service regime. It is an exotic auto rifle. Then we have the synthel sips for the Titan. Liar's handshake for the Hunter. As well as the Geomax stabilizers for the Warlock. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the weapon of the week. Change the perk on this is Saros Legacy, which half mag, bonus damage, and regen's health. This comes with Hammer Forge Rifling, Tactical Mag, Spinning Up, which holding down the trigger increases rate of fire, as well as Dual Speed Receiver, which when aiming down sights, weapon rate of fire slows while weapon damage increases. Then we also have uh, Hand Laid Stock. Coming down here, Catalyst, uh, and then we got a couple ornaments for it, but they do not come with the weapon. Um, first one we have is Kuda Main. Looks pretty cool. Then we have Gray uh, Knit Rate. Or Knit Right. And then last but not least, Soros Chrome. Which I will admit this probably looks the best. Gives a nice little brush finish. I, I really like it. So. If you guys do not have this exotic, go ahead and get it. It's a decent exotic in PvE, and it does uh, kind of creep up on you in PvP. So in PvP, I am probably going to rate it a 2.5. In PvE, it is going to go ahead and get a tier 2. If you guys don't know the tier scale, I will put it in the description box below. Next, we have the Syntheseps. In terms of perk on this is uh, Biotic Enhancements, which buffs melee range. Being surrounded buffs damage. And we have uh, Solar for the Armor Tier. Now, this has, actually has a decent amount of strength on it. And I'd like to at least have 13 when it's specific to a certain thing that you need to do. So, melee. How, what increases your melee? Strength. Not 13. So, it's decent. It's not bad. But it's not as good as you want it to be either. So I probably would skip out on this. Um, but if you don't have one, go ahead and grab it. This is definitely going to be a tier 2, maybe even a tier 1.5 in PvP. But definitely a uh, definitely a tier 1.5 in PvE. Because you tend to get surrounded a lot by a lot of ads. So if you guys do want this still, go ahead and grab it. Next, we have the Lion's Hair Shake. Uh, check the perk on this is cross counter, which cross counter regenerates health and deals extra damage. This has a uh, arc armor tier on it, and once again melee. I would still say the same thing. Better to have a 13 or higher, um, especially when obviously you want something with uh, melee. Yeah. So it's probably going to get a, uh, probably the same, tier 1.5 uh, in PvE as well as PvP. Uh, next exotic is the Geomax Stabilizer, which, uh, change of perk on this, is the close, is, is close enough, which gives you extended chaos reach. Uh, sprinting can add super energy. And obviously this gives you arc tier, which is pretty good. Unfortunately, this only gives you a plus 10 in intellect. You want, you want, want that plus 13 or higher for the specific um, uh, intrinsic perk. Uh, super energy. What super energy? Intellect. So, normally if this had a tier um, 13, I'm sorry, if it was uh, plus 13 or higher, I probably would give this a... Um, 1.5 in PvP and, P and PvP, but since it doesn't, and it's only a plus 10, which is kind of bad, 
Um, I'm probably just going to give this a tier 2 to even a tier 2.5 in both PvE as well as PvP. Next, we got your consumables, which gives you your Nightfall Challenge card, and then we have your Invitations of the Nine, or Invitations, which is the High Priestess. And then last but not least, we have your Faded Engram, which does go ahead and award you with Forsaken Exotics. Prior to buying this, go ahead and buy one of these if you do not have it. Um, but then again, you know, Faded Engram could probably give you a better roll. So, I just got the uh, Raiden Flux, and it is a, Ugh, God, let's look at this roll. So the Intellect is only a plus two, but it does give you a total of 61, which does help, and especially in all the other stats, however, you want, you know, higher Intellect for this, you know, it's just... The faster you get your super, the faster you can actually take advantage of this exotic piece of armor. Another one I have, even this one isn't, you know, as good, uh, just because the total is a little bit lower, but at least it has like a plus seven, you know, it's a plus 15 mobility, um, but that 13 plus definitely makes a difference. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.